Alright, um, by now you should have a clear picture of the uric acid distribution or the pathway of uric acid accumulation in your body. So you have a, a clearer picture where does the uric acid hide in your body. So the next concept I'm going to talk about is called gout black box. So why is it called gout black box? It's a concept that I, I developed uh, throughout the years by observing many gout patients because I observe a very uh, unique uh, or very strange phenomena where uh, uh, some patients they have they have they have high uric acid level but they do not suffer frequent gout attack then on the opposite side there are some patients uh, gout patients they have low uric acid level but they suffer very frequent uh, uric acid uh, gout attack very frequent gout attack and it's very sensitive they slightly eat the peanut they, uh, they get a peanut uh, even as one tiny little peanut can trigger a, a serious gout attack so um, I, I try by trying to understand this why this happens why why this happened why this a uh, bit uh, because generally we, we have an understanding that or the higher your uric acid test result is then uh, the you should be you should experience a more serious or frequent gout attack which is true for 90 per 80 percent of the gout patients but there are 20 percent which fall into this category which i mentioned just now so to understand that i i developed a concept that which is called gout black box but before that i want to talk about the the blood test so let's say you're having a joint pain and then you go to the doctor and it's quite hard for the doctor to de determine whether their uh, your joint pain is either a gout or arthritis or, or maybe other the joint related issue uh, problems so the only way to 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 confirm or to be sure that uh, the, the joint pain that you are suffering now is gout is by running a blood test if your blood test result shows the elevated uric acid level then uh, it's quite safe to say that um, your your the joint pain you're suffering now is gout right so this is a range uh, universally around the world. This is a range, the reference range for healthy uric acid level. For, for male, it's between 3.4 to 7.5 milligram per deciliter, uh, or a different unit is called 0 0.19 to 0 0.42 millimole per liter, and, or, uh, or 190 to 420 micromole per liter. Whereas for female, the range is slightly lower. So it's between 2.4 to 6.0 milligram per deciliter or 0.13 to 0.33 millimole per liter or 130 to 330 micromole per liter all right this is the range the reference range if your uric acid level f goes beyond this upper upper limit uh, which means you are having uh, hyperuricemia and your chances of getting gout is, uh, is 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 very high because your your the uric acid content in your blood is higher than than normal, norm, or healthy people or healthy range. But the problem with TAS is that um, it doesn't show a big picture of how much acid, uric acid is actually stored in the body. Because all the test is only the, the compound, the, this area of the uric acid in the blood. Because they draw the blood sample. But it doesn't tell how much uric acid is stuck in the interstitial fluid or, or hidden inside the joint in, in the form of crystal. So, you never tell by just looking at uh, uh, um, the blood test. Well, it, it, it shows a big picture. Well, uh, accuracy, I would not to say accuracy. It only shows a big portion. Because, of course, because of uh, your high concentration in the blood, that's why uh, it, the uric acid move. Because particles move from high concentration, absorb into a, it's a law of absorption. So it, it move into, eventually move to here. But the concept of black box is um, because Eventually, um, the uric acid has to travel until it reaches the joint from crystal, then it triggers the gout attack. So, so what determines your, your gout, how frequent it is, how much, how fast the uric acid from here moves to here. So, this area is a very thick layer, it's a very complex layer. It's called multiple layer of muscle tissue or different type of tissues. So, these have to move to this area. So, different people, they have different uh, uh, rate of movement. So it's just like a black box. You don't know how it actually works or how. So and um, and by my my theory, I develop a theory or hypothesis is that um, for those people having a slow back block, black box means the movement in the interstitial 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 fluid is slow. Uh, usually they, they are not uh, they are, they are the type that they are uh, sit in the office or sit at home. They don't do much exercise. So the fluid is not that active here or, or dynamic here. The dynamic is is slow in this area so the uric acid moves slower to this area 
and on the opposite and the type of people they the reactive lifestyle and and the the fluid here exchange um, is very frequent or very dynamic is very high so the urea acid travel faster to reach it that explains why some people even a tiny peanut cause a surge in urea acid and this surge immediately uh, affects here for people with slow black box the surge here it doesn't immediately reflect to the result in a result in a in a gout uh, attack why this concept is important because at the end of this course i will talk about uh, uh, using alkaline water or ionic calcium water as a treatment for gout to neutralize the acid because um just now i mentioned is the this direction so far you only see the movement of your acid from this direction to this here this direction if you want to be free from gout you want to get rid of the crystal here so you want to reverse the process you reverse reverse the pathway from here to here so and and this process of when you trigger this process or start this process by drinking alkaline it, you will have like i mentioned in the introduction you will you will experience some weird healing crisis different kind of symptoms some for some people the 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 hidden acid suddenly wake up and then they have very serious joint pain and for some the acid move the acid movement moves so fast the fast for people with fast black box so when you start to drink alkaline water you will experience a surge of high urea acid so when you go for the blood test within the first or two months after you start drinking ionic calcium water or alkaline water so you have a surge of alkaline uh, uh, urea acid in the blood test the, re the reason is because the alkaline water the alkaline minerals pull the acid out from the joint and move to here so that it can be sent to the kidney for disposal so that's the reason why you have a surge but for people with slow black box the acid travels slow the water travels slow to reach the alkaline water takes some time to reach and it also takes a slow and steady way to uh, a time to to to, to reach the 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 river to send the acid out so the problem is uh the, when they add too much acid stuck in this area which usually is the muscle layers so and it affects the muscle contraction and you it gives you a weird soreness you feel weird soreness because i have many and, and many um, gout patient and many many of them they told me that yeah after they drink the ionic calcium water they notice the 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 frequency of gout attack drops a lot and the duration of the pain shorten but they experience a weird muscle soreness or muscle cramp or muscle tightness for for a certain period of time they don't understand why initially i didn't understand why as well but once i i try to understand uh the try to develop a theory to, to 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 explain that it seems like this one explain it all so the acid stuck here in the muscle it doesn't move so and then i develop way to to reduce that or to speed up the movement of your acid as well which i will talk about it in the in the chapter eight on management uh, of hearing crisis so it's very important to understand gout black blocks now because it gives you a better picture that uh, gout actually can be cured once you remove it but the process takes time and takes patience and and understanding this uh, diagram is very important the blueprint you have a map now which you need to follow through all right that's all for this chapter we'll move on to the next chapter which i will talk about the current medical solution or medical uh, treatment for gout and its limitation all right thank you